Hello guys, it is Caleb Fire 10 here, and today I've got the V Mingo Golden Retriever Edition and perfectly in its box, although the box has got some white on it. It has been packaged in its box, and today I'm gonna unbox it for all of you. So I'm gonna take a closer look at the product before I open this. So a couple things to note. This does have some yellowing on it which that might be fixable, but I doubt it. That's probably just due to age. Same thing with the console, it's got a bit of yellowing on it. The controller seems fine though, surprisingly, so I wonder if that's just a different material, but yes, just especially around the top here, there's just a bunch of yellowing. But we will just try and see what we can do with this. So, opening this up, there's a thing right here. I'm gonna try and keep the box in as good condition as I can. There's just little tape flabs right here. I don't know if this was repackaged or not, but hopefully it wasn't. I assume probably not because... Ooh, it actually says try me. Let's see if the try me works. Okay, well the try me does not work. But... I thought I got all the tape. Didn't, apparently. I missed one. And I will... Why can't I... Oh, we got some of them right here. Handheld virtual friend and TV... Yeah, I don't think this was opened before. So, insert new AAA batteries into the virtual handheld included. Insert four C batteries into the TV docking system, not included. So you can power up the handheld, but you can't power up the dock. Oh, ew, what is this? There's like some weird marks on the screen. Well, I might try and get screenshots of this, scans of this, of the manual. Let's see, this, congratulations on your new dog, he needs you. Oh yeah, I'll try and get screenshots of all this. Also, it comes with stickers. That's pretty cool. Anyway, there's like some weird like sticky crap on this. Uh, okay. Let me tape on here as well. So let me cut this. Oh wow. That is a very, very blurry image. Probably because they're trying to give a depth of field effect on the front. So anyway. This plastic does seem to split into two. So yeah, let me just trim this. It does appear to be quite a bit. Which is you know, amazing. We got the docking station itself. Kind of got some yellowing on it. I wonder if that can actually be fixed. I'm actually genuinely curious. Got to put the four C batteries in here. The controller looks surprisingly okay. There's a question mark as well. And to the product, the handheld unit itself. Looks like the screws got some rusting, but they did say I had to put the batteries in, right? Insert it. So it should have come with batteries, but I don't see any batteries. Are they already inside? No, the handheld unit does not power up, but it's actually pretty nice to hold in your hand. It feels surprisingly nice. I don't, I don't know if the screen that was me that touched it or not, but it does appear, but yeah, only the top of it is dirty, but I don't know if this was boxed before. I don't see the batteries though, it's included. 
three triple A's, but I don't see three triple A's anywhere. So, hey, what's this? Wait. Oh, yeah, it's the clip. The clip that you're supposed to put around this. Oh, wait a second. There's a thing here. There's a piece of tape that covers whatever this is. Oh, ew. Residue. I have to get some goo gone to get rid of this, but I'll do that later. The system does seem to be in pretty decent condition. But yeah, it's also got some weight to it. I'm wondering if the batteries have already been in there, which if it is, that's not a good sign because this thing is like 15 years old if it's truly never been unboxed. That means the batteries have been sitting in there for 15 years. But yeah, I don't see any. Unless I am completely blind, there are no triple A's in here. So. Luckily, I do have some triple A's and C batteries to use in here. So I'm going to go grab a screwdriver and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back with my little multi-tool and you will unscrew this. Ah, oh, that made a weird click. But it is unscrewing, which is a good thing. Okay. No, still need to unscrew more. Yeah, it does look like the batteries were inserted. That's not a good thing. Although it doesn't look like they're very corroded, so yeah, I'm gonna assume that this was in fact used. So I'm wondering if I'll find someone's save data on here. Also, I don't know how to attach the base or this like clip. Does it just go around? Oh, it just goes on like that. There's little uh, clips on the side right here that you can put it in. So let's take out some triple A's, put some brand new ones in. Oh, there's something on the back. To ensure optimum performance, please press the reset button on the back of this unit after replacing the batteries. Wouldn't that reset your data though? I'll have to read the manual for that, but let's just get the batteries in and test this unit. Oh, and we got power. And someone's save data. So this has definitely been opened before, unfortunately. But it's cool that they repackaged it at least. I could give a somewhat type of unboxing. Oh, and this thing just shut down. Probably because it's idle. Uh-oh. can't interact with it. Oh, it was on demo mode, that's why. Never mind. Welcome to Vmingo, press A to continue. I'm not gonna continue it on this, I'm gonna actually hook up the dock and play it on that so I have a bigger screen to show it on. But this is where the fun of the game really came in. You could take it portably, but you could also play it on the TV. So I'm gonna show TV gameplay this video. But soon I should have another unit coming in that I will show some multiplayer gameplay because there are two player games, but it's not really well shown anywhere. I haven't found any sources or any gameplay of it, but it is cool that I did get it working. And it's, should have showed the demo. Oh well, I'll see if I can find it, or find a clip of it. It's still on though, it says welcome to Vingo. 
Time to unscrew this. The screws on this look better than on the unit. Not as... Yeah, it's making that weird click sound. Maybe it is new. I don't know. It's really hard to tell if this is new or not. But... I would assume they wouldn't put the batteries into the Vimingo. Especially if it's brand new and unopened. Oh, it takes four C batteries. It's going to need all four of these. That was another thing about this system. It didn't use a plug. It used, bat it used C batteries. So we're going to just put these in. So, and then we will screw it back on. The unit's still on, just the backlight's turned off, but this says welcome to Vimingo. But we will hook this up to the TV that I have up here, and I will try and get some of the gameplay. power adapter actually so you can play it through without batteries or you don't have to use batteries or anything. but I unfortunately do not have that adapter nor do I think I have a DC 6 volt adapter but I could always check my adapter see if I have anything that could plug into it some other time but let me first plug this into the TV this uses AV cables, so this should be relatively simple. So it only uses yellow and white, so it's only gonna give a mono sound. This will unfortunately not do any type of stereo. We're gonna swap to this, we're gonna change this to... I'm guessing it's gonna be component? I'm guessing that's what it's going to be, so we will dock this. It's still on, so we'll put it in the dock. We will... Why isn't it fitting? Oh! Okay. Unusable signal. So, I'm guessing it's not component video. Hey, there we go. We have a picture. Golden Retriever, Yorkshire Terrier, or German Shepherd. We are going to go with the Golden Retriever. So, oh, welcome to Vimingo. Press A. So, the button layout is A and then B. Do you prefer a 12 hour or 24 hour clock? We're gonna do 12 hour. And it is currently 424. PM on March 27th. Twenty twenty one. Yes. What is your name? It is Caleb. Oh, I accidentally went down. I need a capture card for this type of thing. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a boy. When is your birthday? May. I'm not going to show this, actually. Okay. And then, what's your favorite color? 
red. Are you happy with this choice? Yes. Excellent. Now I can go to the kennel and buy a cute puppy for you to look after. You had 52 pet, 5,200 pet points to spend on a puppy. Which one would you like? Oh, we better turn up the audio. What would you like to name your new friend? Well, since he's a golden retriever, let's name him Shadow. That I might actually spell wrong. You know, Shadow from like Shadow from Holborn Bound. Yes. Is it gonna. Ooh. your new home shadow. The iHUD system controls every... So we got a couple of options here. Oh gosh. So he's kind of neutral when you first start out. So let's try and. Oh, so you can quick select. So if we've already selected that, you can just click B twice and he will do that. So let's got some mail. So let's check the mail. From store clerk. Ooh, could probably go buy him pet toys in a bit. I still have 200 pet points, so. So, let us throw him a bone. Hey, his meter like that. Let's watch TV. Oh, he doesn't want to watch TV. Uh oh. I don't have any toys. Alright, let's go to the town. Let's go find. Ooh, he can go pee on a lamppost. What is this? This is just the kennel. Sell the dog, can I? If you sell Shadow, you won't have a dog to look after. That wouldn't be fun at all. So you could actually buy another dog, but... I have never actually gone that far in this game before when I was younger. So maybe I'll have to show that also on a gameplay at some point. Oh, I can dress the dog. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Ooh, we can train the dog. So I'm guessing this is the training area since it has a cap. Wait, whoa. Dig? <laughs> you can find stuff in the ground, apparently. If you just dig. Also, I like how the dog always like looks at you. Unless he's like going up. When he's going left, he always looks at you. Which is kind of a nice touch. Let's see, what can we do? We could fast travel home, but photos. Let's 
so there's 335 items total. How do I take photos? So then there's also a help button. Let me explain what I just did. So help button, you can press this and it'll give you some help. Oh, that's kind of cool. But I can also change the options. What options do we have? Quest arrow. We want that on. So yeah, it turns out factory set must be, you have to do that. Just, just the take time, that's all that is. So. Now why would you ever turn off the music though? Sort of a quest arrow. I guess if you don't have a quest right now. I didn't know that there were quests in this. But what is this? No, I don't want that. What is this? Uh oh. He got upset for some reason. Oh, he's thirsty. Alright, well, let's go back home. Oh, he can fast travel. Look at that. How do I give him commands? Oh. That's not what I want to do. Ooh, water. There. a lot of an action as well. Uh, they don't have any toys still. Oh, let's pet him. Oh, he doesn't want to be petted. All right. So how do I clean him? Do I just take him outside? Happier. All right, we'll just send him to bed. I'll try and figure that out later. Anyway, that should be good for this video, actually. So that's the Vimingo. If you'd like to see more on this, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you.